Hi, and uh, welcome to the vlog. Um, just thought I'd give you a bit of an update. Christmas is coming, it's just around the corner. Uh, given the fact that Christmas is on the same day every year, it always takes me by surprise, I've got to say. Um, but I've done, I've done the shopping that I need to do. Um, thank God for the internet. Thank God for Amazon. Um, but I've done all of the shopping that I need to do so I can sort of uh, a little bit smug and I think, oh yeah, I've done that. Uh, but the truth is, is now I've got to help with other things. Um, looking forward to spending some quality time with with my family over Christmas and uh, with Bronnie's family and Bronnie's daughter's coming over from Ireland. Can't wait to see her. Such a lovely girl. Um, so looking forward to having her home. Um, but I thought I'd give a sort of a, an update on the on on the van of where we got to. We bought the van in June, as you know. Uh, so from June until now, I think I've videoed most of the work. But what I'm going to do in this one is just go have a little run down through the van together, saying what we've achieved, and then having a, a look at where we want to go to next and the the next jobs, uh, if you like. Um, we're going to have a little look at those. Now, maybe one or two little bits I can do before now on Christmas. Um, I have got some time off. Um, I am working between Christmas and New Year, um, and then New Year I'm full at it at work. So, uh, so well, which is okay because the weather's foul and we, we don't have anywhere indoors that we can build. Uh, Bronny just won't allow me to do carpentry in the kitchen. Um, which I guess is me being a boy thing, you know, thinking, oh, you know, you can hoover up later, but no, it's just not going to happen. So uh, um, we're restricted by the weather on occasions and we're restricted by the usual things. I'm not suggesting we're the only ones that go through this, but, you know, we all, we all go to work, you know, at the end of the day. So we've got lots of commitments to fit around the, the build itself. Um, which isn't isn't a bad thing, especially in my case, because when you're not this 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 expert, that there are people that are so good at this van build, and and thank YouTube for them because uh, I I have got so much information off YouTube and other van builders and 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 people that just live in vans are given ideas and things like that. Uh, the learning experience has been fantastic, absolutely blinking well fantastic. And the whole process for me has been wonderful. Um, I mentioned in other jobs, in other videos, that my job is pretty much desk bound. And um, uh, the, the, the idea that I can come home and, and, and use my hands and, and do a crafty type stuff you know and DIY type stuff is really quite good um, I've learned a tremendous amount a tremendous amount but it's amazing this whole YouTube scenario where if you don't know how to do a job you just type it in and then you will get a couple of dozen variations of how to do it um, and you take out the bits that you think you're capable of and the bits that you like and the bits that you think are solid um, I know that I've over-engineered a lot of it. Um, where I could have put two screws in, I've put five, and you know, uh, where I could have put five, I've put ten, and, and everything is glued and everything is rib nutted, and so I think I've over-engineered it. But on the other hand, then because of my lack of experience, that gives me some sort of security uh, blanket to work with. Um, and I'm beginning to waffle. So why not? Let's well, let's just together go and have a look around the van. We'll discuss what we've done from June till now, and where we're going to go to in the next couple of months. Okay, so I started to make the the face frame for the hanging cupboard that's going to go down the length of the van and what I've done is I've put 
pocket hole screws into each but because it's going to take a weight from the ceiling I'm also putting these plates on so hopefully that should be secure and then when that's all done I'm going to run uh, the right router down here and along the bottom to accept the, the shelf and the side panels so a little bit further on now and uh, just uh, pocket holes screwed and um, glued, glued pocket screwed and clamped together so just waiting for that to dry I'll get the plates in the bottom bit then and then just uh, leave it as long as I can then to, uh, to set okay so that's the uh, front face frame just uh, left a few of the clamps on there just to keep it together while the glue goes off so I think I said already haven't I um, it's got pocket hole screws it's glued and it's got the plates on the back so I'm um, just going to leave that a while then I'm going to get it out to the kitchen before Bronnie finds out that I've been working in the kitchen and then while I'm waiting for that to dry I'm uh, a cup of coffee in hand and a bit of uh, one man and his whippet or as Bronnie calls it one whippet right, and his man nobody will be looking at you we're not filming you nobody will be laughing at you Bonnie. they're all laughing at you don't let your dad dress you like that so just a bit of a, a talky bit of the video really to uh, recap where we've been so we brought the the uh, the van home we stripped out the ply lining and the floor and then we started by battening and insulating the floor then putting the floor back down and then on top of that we've put the uh, strip lino tiles um, for the awning which you can sort of just see up there the Thule awning and down there the step uh, we took that down to Hillview Awnings down in Pool and Dorset. Then with the walls we put, uh, oh, the next thing was the windows. The windows are fitted in the rear, the side and in this sliding door here. And then we started on the inside I'm guessing. Um, sound insulation. Uh, insulated with a, a combination of Celotex expanding foam and um, bubble silvery fall type paper like that over there uh, it's all been vapor barriered uh, the floor as well and the ceiling the same so everything was insulated all the way around looked a bit like a spaceship at the time then we started uh, battening the walls um, and the ceilings so all the battens are screwed into the uh, the main joists of the of the van and uh, then from there then obviously we had the uh, the, the, ooh, the, tongue, the tongue and groove fitted excuse me while I bang my head and drop my glasses um, bed wise the um, we riv nutted um, metal angle iron onto the side of the van which will form part of these bed str struts here um, but they will also be supported uh, with with the walls underneath in the garage when we do the battery box and the the gas lockers um, some little bits of carpet on the van on the on the on the uh, on the doors there uh, some trim to go on on there later on so into the back so 90% of the uh, the electric is done now um, obviously it's got a lot of tidying up to do on that um, 260 amp hour battery and inverter a sterling power unit to charge the batteries and in between there there's a fuse box for the 12 volt system um, there will also be a fuse system for the the 230 volt over the other side the uh, Truma heater is uh, fitted um, 
and good to go. The exhaust was fitted down the side here, just coming on the side of the van. Um, we, we fitted that, ooh, where is it? There it is. The exhaust system coming out to the side of the van. That's all watertight, we know that. Um, and the gas bottle was fitted. That's got a drop out vent, that's all solid. The gas pipe has been started and the plumbing has started. Uh, roof wise, um, two fans have been put in and uh, the uh, stained the ceiling, which took quite a lot of sand in. Some of the coats of paint have gone onto the, the panels at the front. Now there are gaps in the corners, but don't worry about those, they are going to be covered, so don't worry about that. You can also see, um, let me go around the, the front. If you remember the, the first part of the video, we're talking about the hanging cupboards and how I was putting those together in the, in the kitchen. So behind here, there's going to be, um, oops, can you see my hand? Yeah, so behind here, there's going to be routed out an edge here so that the, the bottom will fit across to on top of there and then there will be a strip of beading along there as well the the back all of that's going to be silver fold and then once i know where exactly where the wires are gone and we're happy with there so i've just tacked that up there now with a couple of clamps just to have a little look to see how it was looking i think it's looking all right um, that's going to be a slightly different colour to the walls, I think. If you go back a few videos, that's going to be in a winter grey, okay? The lighting was done, rather pleased with that, and the fans are all working. Um, if you go back a couple of videos, you can see how rather pleased I was with myself on that one. Uh, Bed-wise, so the bed is going to go all the way to the back door. It's only about half done at the moment. The other um uh, whatever these are things are called um that's that's already um they're they're already painted and ready to go in the bed is going to be from here to about here which is going to be four foot six wide i've actually left four foot eight so that there's wiggle room for the um for the uh mattress and then the wardrobe this is actually the this is actually the shelf for the hanging cupboard the wardrobes are going to be sort of running there so to speak at the back um, the shower unit ready to go in the reason i bought the shower unit is so that when i do the stud part of the wall I know where to put the, the cross members so that we've got something solid for that to go into. Um, nice unit. Uh, we're quite pleased with that. Uh, shower is going to be, once we finish these hanging cupboards, the shower is going to be the next project. And as you can see, the plumbing's underneath. So, I think it's all coming together. And I think most of you will probably have enjoyed um, the journey with us certainly by the comments thank you for those and very much very much appreciated um so that's what's next so the next part is finish off these hanging cupboards get them sorted and get the um the right hand side if you like fitted there's going to be strip light underneath here okay um the length of that which will be on a dimmer switch so uh there that's been ordered and it that's on its way um, looking forward to seeing that up there. Um, doors wise, they're going to be sort of hinged up this way. So hinge up the top and then just drag the doors up that way. And then they'll have little gas struts keeping those in order. Um, that's about where we are at with that at the moment. Obviously this, the, the finish off the insulation and the tin fall in across there and vapor barrier in. Um, that should be done very, very shortly. Um, and we'll see where we go from there. I'm looking forward to the next part where it's starting. It feels like it's coming together. I, I don't know if that makes any sense to to you, but um, certainly here it does feel that it's starting to uh, take shape. Uh, we'll see you over the next couple of months.